I'm now going to do a flash run for the crowd. Here we go. No. Hard on the brakes. Down to some gear or other. That is a tight corner, isn't it? Okay. Yes. Put the handbrake up like that. That's what we call a donut. Oh, I just so nearly did that. Am I, am I, I'm in reverse, I think. Well, sometimes I hate my job. I'm now having to drive a Ferrari simulator. This is basically a proper F1 chassis. I've got the pedals exactly like Alonso would have the pedals. I've got the steering wheel exactly like Alonso would have his steering wheel. He's got one of these in his garden shed. This is where he does his practicing. Now, Anton here designs cars for you. You've done McLaren, you've done Red Bull, and now you're back at Ferrari. Yes. And you've designed this as well. OK, I'm going to try and drive. Okay. Well, you tell us, give us your expertise on how it works and how vital these are. Because right. the drivers rely on this system now, don't they? Absolutely. So how, how long would Alonso spend? I'm, I'm into first now. Okay. Yeah, so Fernando would spend hours and hours training. So he would do race simulations of the races that he's going to. And he would be doing procedural training, uh, familiarizing himself with the racetrack. Now, basically, you know, whereas Ronnie O'Sullivan has got a snooker table in his house and he would go down every morning after his cup of tea and practice snooker for hours, yes. Alonso and all the drivers would have these in their sort of garden sheds and they have their cup of tea and go and do a couple of hours in, in the sim. Well, exactly. They would have different levels of simulators. Some of them might have computer games, other will, others will have full blown uh, simulators like this one or even better. And what are they learning? Because presumably they know the circuits. Yeah, so there might be situations where they do have a new circuit, like over the last few years we've had Korea, India, Austin, Texas. So there's a big effect of learning the circuit there. OK, excuse me, I've got a <laughs> bit of a tight right-hander. This is the Ferrari test track I'm on now, is it? Yes, this is uh, Fiorano, which is in the home of uh, Ferrari in Maranello, and it's a test track where all of the developments of the Formula One cars and road cars get done. Now what amazed me is that you can basically program this to teach Alonso how to have better reactions and, and all kinds of different things. You, you can program it as well to test fuel, to test oil. I mean, it does everything, doesn't it? That's right. I mean, I think the beauty of <laughs> simulators in general is that we can control all the variables. They are absolutely fantastic for uh, concentration skills, multitasking, uh, reaction times, and also to uh, familiarize yourselves with, uh, with the circuits. And I've just plowed through a load of daffodils, and, yes. uh, and I can feel it bouncing around as well. So talk me through this steering wheel. This would be like an F1 steering wheel. This is yes, a Alonso so, steering wheel. So this is the actual uh, Ferrari steering wheel. It has all the functionality, buttons, rotary switches that the real steering wheel would have. What's this big dial in the middle with lots of letters on it? Right, so this, um, all of the functionality of the steering wheel is there to assist the driver during the course of the race. So in other words, while there's got uh, fuel load going down, while there's got tires changing, he'll continually be changing the settings of the car from the steering wheel, from a series of uh, pre-programmed -pre controls. And so, oh, <laughs> how's my driving, by the way? Yeah. Not that good at all. <laughs> yeah, thanks very much. Uh, oh, oh dear. I seem to be upside down. <coughs> Have I broken your uh, no, simulator? No, no. Okay.